Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Let me give you the latest update on what's going on with this Gulf Storm. Because now we're getting around that time to where it showed weakness. Going back by the Central America, now it's going to come back. And this is where it's showing many times it can be a chance for a strong tropical storm. This has a chance to become potentially a problem. I'll show the, you the information I have in this video. And if you want an afternoon update this afternoon, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know that you do want one and I will give you another one. But the all in all pattern has always shown true for quite some time is that we was going to get this trough come on through and it was going to go out through the northeast. Now this trough will keep going deeper and deeper protecting the northern and eastern side of the Gulf of Mexico. That would guide this system right towards Florida, regardless of development, subtropical or tropical, where the thunderstorms are around the center, or whether it's all the way around and still connected to this front. It's still going to bring a big, heavy rainmaker with it. But it's been showing on some of these models that not only is this going to break apart and be its own tropical storm, that it could strengthen up. Matter of fact, if the trough, if the system slows down, and it's been showing that this trough is trending now with GFS as well as the Euro and the data, that this trough is going to deepen very strong. So it has five to six days to go past that until it's to a point to where it's too strong, the trough is too deep, and it could come back into the center of the Gulf of Mexico, or it could even just ride further to the west, northwest, right up the western side of the ridge of this trough. So it could either go in two different directions at this point. If it's within five, six days, it's going towards Florida regardless. It's been showing this for quite some time. If it's after that and it lingers because of that trough coming through, it could come back and sit in this Gulf a while, which we all know is not good. It could go further northern and northeastern into the Gulf of Mexico, or it could get pushed further into this direction as well. So there's many outcomes that could still happen with this storm. And what I've seen, according to the information, when it was still an invest, before we lost all the information on the invest, they bump this up to 40%. This is going to keep going higher. I want to show you some information that we had before we lost the invest in the hurricane models. Now, the latest update shows that our total count so far is up to 200 to 213 people. That unfortunately, that was killed by Helene. They are still searching. So please continue to pray for these people, not only the ones that has been lost, the ones that we are still searching for that they will be safe. Now you see the latest information on the power outages. According to the state, how much power outages we still have going on. Matter of fact, we still have right below 10,000 for Florida. It was just yellow at 10,000. It's just now starting to get better for them. But you can see the latest update with National Hurricane Center. Whether it's going to be a tropical or a subtropical, it's still bringing a lot of heavy rainfall and flooding. Now, you still got Kirk, you still got Leslie not showing any threats, except Kirk could bring you some riptides, currents that you need to watch out for along the East Coast. It's a powerful storm out there, still no impact other than that. Plus, remember my last update, we still have that second system coming sometime after the 15th, and that's going to be coming through the Caribbean as well. So bringing you up to speed where we're at, you can see with the Euro that it does show that it tries to do a quick turn to the northern gulf as we go past four days but then that trough comes down and keeps carrying that to the east showing you chances for a tropical depression as it goes to from tampa all the way down towards sarasota all the way down towards cape coral but you can see here for your chances for a tropical storm that it does show once you go from five to six days it will have your best chance to become a tropical storm as that passes by now if that does not make it by within the five to six seven days tops it will be blocked by a trough hopefully it still goes out but if it doesn't some models show that it there's a chance it won't it will stay into our golf or even turn another direction still this is bringing a lot of shear on this system as it moves to the east but once it goes past that trough 
The shear is going to move further to the east while it's in the gulf, and it's not getting shear because the trough is further to the east. Matter of fact, as we look at our NAO, let's just know usually we have a high pressure block that comes down with this trough, this cooler air that we have coming through, and this high pressure block is going to create that deeper trough on the east coast. So you can see this with the euro that it shows is going even deeper by the time we go all the way to the 7th through the ninth is where a deep portion of this trough is going to be. Matter of fact, look at GFS. Trend in the same strength. And you remember, GFS slowly came down to what the euro is saying, that we have a deep trough coming through on the east coast. So you can see this shot here as you go from the 6th and the 7th. It starts going into that deeper trough instead of just that east, southeast. It starts digging in really low and going in that direction. And you can see it stays in there and keeps that system pushing into that direction. Now, if it was to keep going into that direction and it was still in the Gulf, once you go seven days, it wouldn't be able to go that way anymore. It would be steered more into this direction or into that direction. You can see the exact same shot with the GFS showing that trough, but showing that it will be disorganized, still two groups of storms. And that first one comes by somewhat weak. You might even get two quick name storms out of these. And that second one is the one that you need to watch for. The second one that's being pushed right into the Yucatan, this is the one you need to watch out for. Now you can see this here on the Canadian, showing you will get that first piece pulled out. But we got such a deep trough coming through, that piece that's going through the Yucatan, getting pushed southern, shows it could get blocked by this trough, get an upper level high rolling, and bam, right there you have a bad scenario. Right there, you have that deep trough coming through, blocking it. You have the upper level high right here, blocking anything from moving around, and it's steering it to the north as well. And this would make this wave move a little further towards the northern Gulf of Mexico on that higher ridge and steered by the upper level high, showing a bad scenario in the same location. Now, this is why it's concerning to me, and as soon as you see what I see, you will think the same thing. This is the last of the information we had when it was still an invest before it became something else in the Gulf. And we don't have an invest on it again. Now, before this went away on our last invest, it was 11E because it was in the Pacific. Now, you can see once you go three days right here, 72 hours, all the way to five days, the hurricane models that takes it along this path takes it to a hurricane. And you see there is some western pushes as well on this system so we do got to watch what it's going to do you can see literally in 72 hours it could either get pulled out it could stall it could turn 72 hours will tell us a lot but i wanted to show you this so you can see the hour markers and you can see once it goes from five to seven days look how you get a southern push on that from that trough so when you look at the strength that it was showing the same models that it is showing in five days over here pushing east in the Gulf of Mexico, the hurricane model showed it would be a Cat 2 or even a Cat 4 hurricane as that happens as that gets pushed east. You can see the other models showing that once it gets to a certain point, it will start strengthening potentially to a, either a strong tropical storm or even to that low grade hurricane. So it is showing it a few of them but it's showing that it will be at least a tropical depression could go up to a tropical storm and then go right back down we will see we will know more literally in 72 hours what this is going to do so that's concerning to me because if it gets that block and it stays in that gulf it would be a strengthening hurricane just sitting there waiting to get steered by high pressures or troughs and ridges bringing this system around now you can see the sea surface temperatures are still very warm. It's still very much above average temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico. You can also see the latest information on your deep ocean heat content that it still has a lot of strong deep ocean heat in the northwestern side of the Gulf of Mexico. And we still got the loop current heat as this travels to the east as well. So it does have warm temperatures for this storm to start strengthening. The question is, is it going to get itself together before it runs out of time and does it run out of time and go out through the east 
weaker of systems, no matter what rainfall regardless, or does it get blocked and become a bigger problem? Now you can see on the ensembles with the Euro that it always showed that in 72 hours, we're gonna have this front system moving through the east, and that's where that second part of that system starts becoming a potential tropical storm as this goes to the east. At the same time, you can see the direction that these are taken. So there's more than one direction this system can go on. It actually can go to the east, or it can go to the east-northeast. Now, if it goes to the east-northeast and it's within the five days, it will get sheared by that trough and it will be weaker. But if it gets blocked, you see how more majority I'm showing that it will be that southern track after that, it will go a little further across southern Florida, still a tropical storm, maybe even a strong tropical storm. Now, if it does not meet that path and that trough comes down, once we get seven days, there's a chance it could get shot to the northern side of the Gulf of Mexico. So we need to watch out for that. There's two things that could happen here. So when you check with the ensembles and see what the chances are on the strength. First, you go by the Euro. You can see as it starts coming to the east. Showing this chances, it could be the weaker ones, but could also be a strong hurricane. Showing all the way down here as well, if it don't take that northern track, of becoming a strong hurricane, it'll take this southern track a little bit later. Look at these chances for this to become a strong system, even still a hurricane. Now, if it don't make it out by these systems, whether weaker or stronger, trough comes down and block it, then you gotta worry about what the second one is gonna do, because that could head to the north, become something weak or a hurricane in itself. And if it comes even later, it could go either with that second system, remember we got another one in the 15th, or this one in the Gulf could just sit there and spin. Still showing we have strong system coming after the 15th as well. And you can see why it's concerning. Look on GFS showing that it could be something rather weak that comes by. If it's a little bit later, the longer, of course, it sits in that Gulf. It could be something rather stronger that comes by. And then after that, you can see where it starts getting that east, northeast push potentially then we get our potential block once we go past seven days and then we get some potential growth if it does not go out by the first ones and we still got what comes after the 15th don't forget that one I've been showing you that one for a while just like i've been showing you the chances for what helene was going to do for a while showing that the 15th a little bit after is going to be another strong moment besides what we're dealing with now so let's take a look at what the hurricane models are seeing and this is literally the last run we was able to see before they took away the invest and we couldn't use them no more. So I have three hurricane models for you. So here you can see that HMON showing that it just stays in the Gulf of Mexico after five days. It does not go further towards the east. It just sits there and strengthens. When you look at a hurricane model analysis forecast system A shows the same thing. After five days, it will still be here strengthening instead of pushing out and i want to keep you in mind this is showing a major hurricane on the western side of the gulf and it still has to travel to the east or north whichever direction it would take after this this is why it's so important that we keep this in invest so we can keep following this information and we have lost this information i'm waiting for it to come back as an invest again now, it's all over the place. When you look at hurricane analysis forecast system B, it takes it as a strong system, but it takes it further to the east, still taking it as a strong hurricane, a cat too. So it's either going to build up in the western gulf or go to the eastern gulf according to the hurricane models. Anywhere from a weak hurricane to a very strong and concerning hurricane. Now, the other models, the Ural and the rest of them, show it be a tropical storm and almost show the same location. You can see this with the Euro going from Wednesday into Thursday, showing it would strengthen up to that tropical storm and weaken down right before landfall. Still, this will bring you a lot of precipital water. It will still bring you all that heavy rainfall that's going to be coming with this for multiple days. You're going to get it from that first system all the way from Monday, all the way across to Wednesday and possibly even the Thursday. So it's still bringing you that heavy rainfall now when you go by the gfs the gfs is taking it to where it still comes all the way by wednesday and thursday 
very much elongated low, just bringing you a heavier rainmaker. So trying to find some kind of trend, you can see with the AI of the Euro showing also, you can get that tropical storm. It's bringing it as early as Tuesday morning. When you go by the long range with the Euro, it's bringing it as Wednesday afternoon, almost the same location. And when you go by the latest Canadian, it's showing almost the same location once again, Wednesday afternoon for Southern Florida. Now, when you go by the previous Canadian, it took it to where it gets that trough, it gets that block, and it can't do anything, and it starts headed to the north, right where we just had Helene. So if it comes down here and it gets shoved down into the Yucatan on that second piece, which is a possibility, it could get blocked trying to come back, then it's past the six or seven days it can't go to the east it will either sit here and fester up or it's going to push to that north so we do need to watch this carefully but showing even heavier amounts of rainfall weather prediction center and meteorologists over there so this is your next seven days and they are taking literally all this orange is going five and six inches of rainfall all that brown is going seven inches all around the edges and you got five and six inches all the way down towards the keys so you can see with the euro showing it will add up on that first piece and then that second piece coming across is a piece that could actually strengthen up to a tropical storm of some sort and then come across with that that would bring some winds but still that's bringing very heavy rainfall towards florida and if that were to happen you can see it is bringing some 50 miles per hour wind gusts towards the florida keys as it goes across maybe towards northern and western bahamas but strengthen out here into the atlantic now when you go by the gfs gfs is seeing both of those systems so we have the first system that could strengthen up and come across bring a lot of rainfall maybe even up to a foot over here for southeastern florida so that's not good but then we got that second system form up around the 15th now if that front stays down it will keep everything southern but still we got to watch out for that one also showing that we still have two potential systems that could form so if the first one forms into anything and gets a name while it goes across florida goes into the atlantic that would take the name of milton right here and if that second piece lingers around or goes out right behind it as a tropical storm, that would take the name of Nadine. Now, before I go real quick, Psalm 34, 15 through 19. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open until their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Amen. Please pray for everyone that is still in the path of Helene's destruction. There's still many that's still hurting, many without power, still many lost and many unaccounted for that we still need to find. So please don't forget them. Keep them in your prayers. And remember, all glory does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life. And everyone that is around you. And forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everybody.